tours around the caves and we can hopefully have it to ourselves. Um, we're on a dirt road and the road going down to the dock where you take the boat into the caves is kind of like a really steep four wheel drive, I guess, <laughs> which we don't have. We but made it. <laughs> it's pretty gnarly. Um, really, gnarly. really steep, but we did make it the other night when we checked things out. For you, Brie. <laughs> Life jackets are always huge on me. <laughs> This is where we depart. This is the little dock to go see the marble caves and it's about a 10 minute boat ride that way. We've been staying in a town called Puerto Rio Tranquilo. It's about 10 minutes from here and there's tons and tons of tour operators in town even though the town's only like three blocks big but we actually just drove straight to the people closest to the marble caves we're gonna do a tour with them uh, we're pretty sure it's much cheaper this way uh, yeah we're heading off Excuse my hair, but we're about to go in the first cave. shooting away. This is the last one we're going to. This is the chapel. They all have different names. It's pretty cool. And over there is the cathedral. Kayakers. That is definitely the coolest one now. I 
right guys, so we just finished. It was absolutely incredible. Um, I will say it was a little bit tight on time, or so it felt. I feel like Bree and I were just snapping away. We went to about three caverns and then cathedral and then chapel. So it was a quite a few spots to go on a boat in just one hour. Um, but it was, it was very, very beautiful. I think we got some awesome photos. Uh, highly recommend this. It's definitely out of the way for most South America trip itineraries, but very worth it in the end. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yes, I think we took like 600 photos just firing away, but it was super cool. And yes, we hope you enjoyed. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>